I'm excited to be here today as we embark on a journey toward breaking free from our comfort zones. Do you ever find yourself struggling with fear, self-doubt, or feeling stuck in your current circumstances? You're not alone. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to become comfortable and settle for mediocrity. But is that truly how you want to live your life? I doubt it. That's why in today's message, I want to share with you five powerful ways to escape your comfort zone and reach your full potential. Growth and success lie outside of our comfort zones, and by listening to this message, you're taking the first step toward turning things around and creating a life of abundance and fulfillment. So get ready to take notes, my friends, because these five tips are going to challenge you, push you, and ultimately help you break free from the chains of comfort. Let's get started. Starting with number five, escape your comfort zone by saying yes to new opportunities. Our comfort zone is like a warm and cozy blanket. It feels safe and familiar, but it also limits us from reaching our true potential. We become complacent, settling for mediocrity instead of striving for excellence. But life is meant to be lived outside of our comfort zones. It is in those moments of discomfort and uncertainty that we grow and learn the most. And the best way to push ourselves out of our comfort zone is by saying yes to new opportunities. Now, I understand what you may be thinking. Saying yes to new opportunities can be scary. It means stepping into the unknown and facing our fears. But let me ask you this. What is scarier? Taking a chance on something new, or living a life filled with regret and what-ifs? From personal experience, I can tell you that the greatest opportunities and successes in my life came from saying yes to something new. Whether it was starting my own business, speaking in front of large crowds, or traveling to new places, each opportunity pushed me out of my comfort zone and helped me grow as a person. And the same can happen for you. When you say yes to new opportunities, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities. You never know what doors may open or what connections you may make. But one thing is for sure, by saying yes, you are taking a step toward a more fulfilling and successful life. I understand that it can be difficult to say yes to every opportunity that comes your way. We all have responsibilities and commitments that we must prioritize. But what I am asking you to do is to be open to new opportunities. Don't automatically shut him down because they may seem scary or unfamiliar. Instead, take a moment to evaluate the opportunity. Ask yourself, will this help me grow as a person? Will it bring me closer to my goals? Will I regret not taking this chance? If the answer is yes, then don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and say yes. Remember, saying yes to new opportunities doesn't just mean taking on new projects or tasks. It can also mean saying yes to new experiences, new hobbies, or new relationships. It's about being open to trying new things and expanding your horizons. I also want to address the fear of failure. Many of us are afraid to say yes to new opportunities because we fear that we may fail. But let me tell you, failure is not something to be feared. It is a necessary part of growth and success. Every successful person has faced failures and setbacks along the way. But the difference between them and those who never reach their full potential is that they didn't let failure stop them. They said yes to new opportunities and used their failures as stepping stones to success. Don't let your comfort zone hold you back from living your best life. Embrace the unknown and trust in your abilities to overcome any challenges that may come your way. That brings us to number four. Escape your comfort zone by surrounding yourself with different people. You may be wondering why this is so important. Why should we surround ourselves with different people? Well, let me tell you, we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. Think about that for a moment. The people we surround ourselves with have a significant impact on our thoughts, actions, and ultimately, our success in life. If we surround ourselves with people who are negative, pessimistic, and have a limited mindset, we will start to adopt those same traits. On the other hand, if we surround ourselves with people who are positive, ambitious, and have a growth mindset, we will start to develop those same characteristics. This is why it is crucial to surround ourselves with different people who will challenge us, inspire us, and push us out of our comfort zone. 
Now, I understand that stepping out of our comfort zone can be scary. It means facing our fears, taking risks, and embracing change. But let me tell you, the rewards that come from stepping out of our comfort zone are far greater than the temporary discomfort we may feel. One of the best ways to escape your comfort zone is by surrounding yourself with different people. So, who are these different people? They can be anyone, friends, family, mentors, colleagues, or even strangers. The key is to surround ourselves with individuals who have different perspectives, experiences, and beliefs than us. By doing so, we open ourselves up to new ideas, opportunities, and ways of thinking. One of the benefits of surrounding ourselves with different people is that it helps us break out of our bubble. We all have our own set of beliefs, biases, and perspectives, which can limit our growth and potential. By interacting with people from different backgrounds, cultures, and walks of life, we gain a broader understanding of the world and ourselves. We start to see things from different angles, and this broadens our perspective, allowing us to think outside the box. Moreover, surrounding ourselves with different people can also help us build our network. We've all heard the saying, your network is your net worth, and it couldn't be more accurate. The people we surround ourselves with can open doors for us, introduce us to new opportunities, and help us grow both personally and professionally. So, it is essential to build a diverse network of individuals who can support and challenge us. Another benefit of surrounding ourselves with different people is that it helps us learn and grow. We are all unique individuals with our strengths and weaknesses. By surrounding ourselves with people who have different skills and talents, we can learn from them and improve ourselves. We can also share our knowledge and experiences with others, which is not only fulfilling but also helps us solidify our understanding. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, what about my current friends and family? I don't want to abandon them, and I'm not saying you should. Your current relationships are valuable, and they have played a significant role in shaping who you are today. But that doesn't mean you can't expand your circle and surround yourself with different people. You can still maintain your current relationships while also building new ones. So, how can we surround ourselves with different people? The first step is to be open-minded and willing to step out of our comfort zone. We need to be open to meeting new people, listening to their perspectives, and learning from them. We also need to be willing to put ourselves out there and initiate conversations and connections. Another way to surround ourselves with different people is to join groups and communities that align with our interests. This can be anything from a book club to a professional organization. These groups allow us to meet people who share our passions and can expose us to new ideas and opportunities. Lastly, we can also surround ourselves with different people by traveling. When we travel, we are exposed to different cultures, languages, and ways of life. This can be a great way to expand our network and gain new perspectives. Which leads us to number three, escape your comfort zone by traveling to new places. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have the time or the money to travel. And I understand that traveling can be expensive and time-consuming. But let me tell you, the benefits of traveling far outweigh any cost. When we travel to new places, we are exposed to new cultures, new ways of thinking, and new experiences. We are forced to adapt and to step out of our comfort zones. In doing so, we learn and grow in ways that we never could have imagined. Traveling to new places also allows us to break out of our routine. We are creatures of habit, and we often get stuck in the same daily grind. But when we travel, we are forced to break out of our routine and try new things. We may discover a new passion or interest that we never knew we had. We may also gain a new perspective on life and our place in the world. But perhaps the most powerful aspect of traveling to new places is that it pushes us to face our fears. We all have fears. Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of rejection. And these fears often hold us back from taking risks and trying new things. But when we travel, we are faced with unfamiliar situations and challenges. And it is in these moments that we have the opportunity to overcome our fears and grow as individuals. Think about it. 
When you travel to a new country where you don't speak the language, you are forced to communicate in different ways. You may have to use hand gestures or rely on the kindness of strangers to help you navigate. This can be intimidating, but it also forces you to step out of your comfort zone and face your fear of not being able to communicate. Traveling also allows us to break free from societal norms and expectations. We are often influenced by the people around us and the expectations of society. But when we travel, we are able to break away from these influences and discover our true selves. We are able to let go of the need to conform and embrace our individuality. Now, I know that traveling may not be feasible for everyone. But let me tell you, it doesn't have to be a grand, expensive trip to a far-off destination. It can be as simple as taking a day trip to a nearby town or exploring a new neighborhood in your own city. The key is to step out of your familiar surroundings and expose yourself to new experiences. And for those of you who are able to travel to far-off destinations, I urge you to take advantage of this opportunity. Traveling to new places can be a life-changing experience. It allows us to learn about different cultures, meet new people, and expand our worldview. It also reminds us of the beauty and unity of the world we live in. Make it a goal to visit at least one new place every year. And when you do, embrace the discomfort and the unknown. Embrace the opportunity to escape your comfort zone and discover the amazing things that await you. Which leads us to number two, escape your comfort zone by taking on new challenges. This is the second way to truly break free from the chains of mediocrity and step into a life of abundance and fulfillment. But why is it so important to take on new challenges? Why should we leave the safety of our comfort zone? The answer is simple, growth. You see, growth happens outside of our comfort zone. It is when we are faced with new challenges that we are forced to stretch ourselves, to push our limits, and to tap into our full potential. It is only by taking on new challenges that we can discover what we are truly capable of. Think about it. Every great accomplishment in history was achieved because someone was willing to take on a new challenge. The Wright brothers took on the challenge of building the first successful airplane. Steve Jobs took on the challenge of revolutionizing the tech industry. And you, my friends, have the opportunity to take on your own challenges and make your mark on this world. But I understand that it is not always easy to step out of our comfort zone. It can be scary, uncomfortable, and even intimidating. We fear failure, rejection, and the unknown. But I am here to tell you that the rewards far outweigh the risks. And the best part is, you don't have to make a giant leap out of your comfort zone. You can start small, with baby steps. For example, if public speaking is something that makes you uncomfortable, Start by speaking in front of a small group of friends or colleagues. If you've always wanted to start your own business but fear the risks, start by doing some research and creating a business plan. The key is to take small steps that will gradually expand your comfort zone and open up new opportunities for growth. Another important aspect of taking on new challenges is to have a growth mindset. This means embracing challenges as opportunities for learning and growth rather than seeing them as obstacles or threats. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, because that is how we learn and improve. As the saying goes, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. And remember, the only way to truly fail is to not even try. So don't let fear hold you back from taking on new challenges. Instead, use it as a driving force to propel you forward. Now, I want to address those of you who may be thinking, but Jim, I am already successful. I have achieved all that I wanted, and I am comfortable where I am. To you, I say this. Never stop growing. Success is not a destination, it is a journey. And to truly live a fulfilling life, we must constantly challenge ourselves and strive for continuous improvement. In fact, taking on new challenges can even lead to new passions and interests. It is never too late to learn something new or pursue a different path. As long as we are open to new challenges, we will continue to grow and evolve as individuals. Whether it is in your personal or professional life, embrace the unknown and trust in your abilities. Remember, growth happens outside of our comfort zone. And when you look back on your life, 
You will be grateful for the challenges you took on and the person you have become because of them. Which leads us to number one, escape your comfort zone by embracing discomfort. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would anyone want to embrace discomfort? It sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it? But let me tell you, my friends, discomfort is the key to unlocking your true potential and living a fulfilling life. Our comfort zone is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it provides us with a sense of security and familiarity. But on the other hand, it holds us back from reaching our full potential. Embracing discomfort is the key to breaking free from the chains of mediocrity and stepping into a life of abundance and fulfillment. So how do we embrace discomfort? Firstly, change your mindset. Our minds are powerful tools, and they have the ability to either hold us back or propel us forward. If you constantly tell yourself that you can't do something or that it's too difficult, then you will never be able to escape your comfort zone. You have to start believing in yourself and your abilities. You have to adopt a growth mindset and see discomfort as an opportunity for growth and learning. Remember, every successful person has faced discomfort and challenges, but they didn't let it stop them. They embraced it and used it as fuel to achieve their goals. Secondly, take small steps. Escaping your comfort zone doesn't mean you have to do something drastic or completely out of your comfort zone. It's about taking small, manageable steps toward your goal. For example, if public speaking makes you uncomfortable, start by speaking in front of a small group of friends or family. Then gradually increase the audience size. By taking small steps, you are building your confidence and expanding your comfort zone. And lastly, surround yourself with discomfort. This may sound strange, but it's true. If you want to escape your comfort zone, you have to surround yourself with discomfort. This could mean trying new things, taking on new challenges, or even putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. By doing this, you are constantly pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and expanding your limits. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Now, I understand that embracing discomfort is not easy. It can be scary and uncomfortable. But let me tell you, the rewards are worth it. When you step out of your comfort zone, you open yourself up to new opportunities and experiences. You discover strengths and abilities you never knew you had. And most importantly, you grow as a person. In fact, some of the most successful people in the world have attributed their success to embracing discomfort. Take Oprah Winfrey, for example. She was a news anchor who took a risk and started her own talk show. It was uncomfortable and scary for her, but she pushed through, and now she is one of the most influential and successful women in the world. So my friends, I urge you to embrace discomfort and escape your comfort zone. Don't let fear hold you back from living the life you truly desire. Remember, the magic happens outside of your comfort zone. And as you continue to push yourself and embrace discomfort, you will see your life transform in ways you never thought possible. I want to leave you with a quote from John A. Shedd. A ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. You are meant for greatness, and you will never reach it if you stay in your comfort zone. So go out there and embrace discomfort, and I promise you, your life will never be the same. Thank you. Are you someone who struggles with finding true happiness in your life? Do you often feel lost, unfulfilled, or unsatisfied? Well, you are not alone. In today's message, I want to share with you some powerful insights and strategies that will help you discover and cultivate your own happiness. I know that it can be a challenging journey, but I am here to remind you that it is possible to turn things around and create a life filled with joy and fulfillment. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how to find your happiness and create a life that you truly love. So let's get started, which leads us to number five. Find your happiness by setting and achieving meaningful goals. So how do we go about setting and achieving meaningful goals? It all starts with a vision. You must have a clear vision of what you want your life to look like in the future. Take some time to imagine your ideal life. What does it look like? What are you doing? Who are you surrounded by? What are you feeling? This vision will serve as your compass, guiding you towards your goals. 
Once you have a clear vision, it's time to turn it into a goal. A goal is simply a dream with a deadline. It's not enough to just have a vision. You must also have a plan to make it a reality. And that plan starts with setting smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Let me give you an example. If your vision is to become financially free, your goal could be to save $100,000 in the next five years. This goal is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. But setting goals is only half the battle. The real work begins when you start taking action towards achieving those goals. And let me tell you, it's not always going to be easy. There will be obstacles, challenges, and setbacks along the way. But it's how you handle those challenges that will determine your success. Successful people are not immune to failures and setbacks. They just have a different mindset. They see failures as opportunities to learn and grow rather than as roadblocks to their success. They understand that every failure brings them one step closer to their goal, and they use it as motivation to keep going. So, my friends, don't be afraid to fail. Embrace it, learn from it, and keep moving forward towards your goals. Remember, it's not about how many times you fall, it's about how many times you get back up. Another important aspect of achieving meaningful goals is to have a plan. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. You must have a detailed plan of action that outlines the steps you need to take to reach your goal. And don't be afraid to adjust your plan along the way. Life is unpredictable, and sometimes we may need to pivot and change our approach. But as long as we stay focused on our vision and keep taking action, we will eventually reach our goals. Now let's talk about the importance of celebrating your wins. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and forget to acknowledge our achievements. But it's essential to take a moment to celebrate and appreciate how far we have come. This not only boosts our confidence and motivation but also reminds us of why we started in the first place. And finally, the most crucial aspect of setting and achieving meaningful goals is to never lose sight of what truly matters in life. It's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of success and forget about our relationships, health, and overall well-being. But true happiness comes from finding a balance and prioritizing what truly matters to us. In the words of the great Zig Ziglar, you can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. So as you set and achieve your goals, don't forget to give back and make a positive impact on those around you. Which leads us to number four. Find your happiness by taking care of your physical and mental health. You see, our physical and mental health are the foundation upon which we build our happiness. Without a strong foundation, everything else will crumble. How can you truly be happy if your body is constantly in pain or if your mind is filled with negative thoughts? How can you enjoy the beautiful moments in life if you are constantly battling with physical or mental illness? The truth is, you cannot. Happiness and good health go hand in hand, and it is our responsibility to take care of both. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be a fitness guru or a meditation master to be happy. No, not at all. What I am saying is that we must make an effort to take care of our bodies and minds in whatever way works best for us. It could be as simple as going for a walk every day, eating nutritious meals, getting enough rest, or practicing mindfulness and gratitude. The key is to find what works for you and make it a priority. Our bodies are like temples, and we must treat them with respect and care. We only have one body, and it is our responsibility to keep it healthy and strong. And let me tell you, when we take care of our bodies, we not only feel physically better but also feel more confident, energized, and ready to take on the world. And that, my friends, is a recipe for happiness. But it's not just about our physical health. Our mental health is just as important, if not more. In today's fast-paced and constantly changing world, it is easy to get caught up in the chaos and neglect our mental well-being. We are bombarded with stress, pressure, and expectations from all angles, and it can take a toll on our mental health. But the good news is, there are things we can do to take care of our minds and find inner peace and happiness. One of the most powerful tools for improving mental health is mindfulness. 
It is the practice of being present in the moment and being aware of our thoughts and feelings without judgment. When we are mindful, we can better manage our stress, anxiety, and negative thoughts. It allows us to let go of the past and not worry about the future and instead focus on the present and appreciate the little things in life. Another important aspect of taking care of our mental health is self-care. This means taking time for ourselves to do things that bring us joy and recharge our batteries. It could be reading a book, taking a hot bath, or spending time with loved ones. Whatever it may be, make sure to prioritize self-care and make it a regular part of your routine. Now, I'm not saying that taking care of our physical and mental health will completely eliminate all the challenges and struggles in life. No, that is not realistic. But what it does is equip us with the strength, resilience, and positive mindset to handle whatever comes our way. And that, my friends, is the key to finding true and lasting happiness. Which leads us to number three. Find your happiness by practicing gratitude. First and foremost, we must understand that gratitude is a choice. It is a mindset that we can choose to adopt regardless of our circumstances. We often think that we will be grateful when we have achieved a certain goal or acquired a certain possession. But the truth is, gratitude is not a result of our external circumstances. It is a result of our internal state of mind. We can choose to be grateful for what we have right now, in this very moment. We all have something to be grateful for. It could be something as simple as having a roof over our heads, food on our table, or the love of our family and friends. When we focus on what we have rather than what we lack, we automatically shift our perspective towards a more positive and grateful mindset. And this is where the magic happens. When we are grateful for what we have, we attract more of it into our lives. Secondly, gratitude allows us to appreciate the present moment. We often get so caught up in our past regrets and future worries that we forget to live in the present. But the truth is, the present moment is all we have. And by practicing gratitude, we can fully immerse ourselves in the present and appreciate all the little things that we often take for granted. For example, have you ever stopped to appreciate the beauty of a sunset, the sound of birds chirping, or the taste of your favorite meal? These are all simple things that we can be grateful for in the present moment. When we learn to appreciate the small things, we realize that they are actually the big things in life. And this brings us a sense of joy and contentment that cannot be found anywhere else. Lastly, gratitude allows us to shift our focus from ourselves to others. As human beings, we have a natural tendency to be self-centered. We are constantly thinking about our own needs, wants, and desires. But when we practice gratitude, we shift our focus to others. We start to appreciate the people in our lives, the kindness of strangers, and the beauty of the world around us. When we focus on others, we realize that we are not alone in this world. We are all connected, and our actions and words have the power to impact others in a positive way. By expressing gratitude towards others, we not only make them feel appreciated but also create a ripple effect of kindness and positivity in the world. Which leads us to number two. Find your happiness by surrounding yourself with positive people. The people you surround yourself with have a tremendous impact on your life. They can either lift you up or bring you down, inspire you or discourage you, support you or hold you back. That's why it is crucial to choose your company wisely. Negative people have a way of spreading their negativity like a virus. They complain, criticize, and find faults in everything, and before you know it, you start to feel the same way. On the other hand, positive people radiate positivity, and their energy is contagious. They uplift us, motivate us, and make us believe in ourselves. They inspire us to be better and do better. They support us and encourage us to chase our dreams. They bring joy and happiness into our lives. Surrounding yourself with positive people is not just about finding happiness. It's about creating a positive and fulfilling life. It's about surrounding yourself with people who will help you grow and become the best version of yourself. It's about creating a supportive network that will be there for you through thick and thin. So how do we surround ourselves with positive people? 
First and foremost, we need to be aware of the people we currently have in our lives. Are they positive or negative? Do they bring us joy, or do they drain our energy? Once we become aware, we need to make a conscious effort to distance ourselves from negative people. It may not be easy, but it is necessary for our own happiness. Next, we need to actively seek out positive people. Look for people who radiate positivity, who have a positive outlook on life, and who inspire and motivate you. Attend events, join groups, and engage in activities that align with your interests and values. This will help you meet like-minded individuals who will have a positive impact on your life. Furthermore, we need to be mindful of the conversations we have with people. Avoid gossip and negative talk. Instead, focus on positive and uplifting discussions. This will not only make you feel better but also attract more positive people into your life. And lastly, be a positive person yourself. Like attracts like. If you want to surround yourself with positive people, you need to be a positive person. Be kind, be supportive, and be uplifting. Break positivity wherever you go, and you will attract positive people into your life. Which leads us to number one. Find your happiness by identifying your passions and purpose. Your passions and purpose are the keys to unlocking the door to your happiness. They are the fuel that will drive you towards a life of fulfillment and joy. Your passions are the things that make your heart skip a beat, the things that you could spend hours doing without feeling tired or bored. They could be anything, writing, painting, playing an instrument, or even cooking. These passions are like a compass, guiding you towards your true purpose in life. But how do you identify your passions? The first step is to try new things. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and explore different activities. You never know. You might discover a hidden talent or a new passion that you never knew existed. The second step is to pay attention to your emotions. What makes you happy? What makes you feel alive? These are the things that you should pursue. Once you have identified your passions, the next step is to align them with your purpose. Your purpose is your reason for being, your unique contribution to the world. It is the reason you wake up every morning and the driving force behind everything you do. And when your passions and purpose align, that's when the magic happens. That's when you find true happiness. But identifying your passions and purpose is not a one-time thing. It is an ongoing process. As you grow and evolve, your passions and purpose may also change, and that's okay. Embrace the change and keep exploring new things. That's the beauty of life. It's a journey of self-discovery. Some of you may be thinking, but how can I pursue my passions and purpose if I have a job that I don't enjoy and bills to pay? My answer to that is to start small. You don't have to quit your job and pursue your passions full time. You can start by dedicating a few hours every week to your passions. It could be early in the morning before work or in the evening after work. The important thing is to make time for what truly makes you happy. And for those of you who are lucky enough to have a job that aligns with your passions and purpose, I applaud you. But let me remind you that even in those moments, it is important to take a step back and reflect. Are you still passionate about what you do? Is it still aligned with your purpose? If not, it's never too late to make a change. Don't settle for a life that doesn't bring you joy. Life is too short to live without purpose and passion. Don't let fear or societal expectations hold you back from pursuing what truly makes you happy. As the saying goes, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. So go out there and explore, try new things, and never stop searching for your passions and purpose. And when you find them, hold on to them and let them guide you towards a life of true happiness. Thank you.